Hey guys, this is Yusei D. Wheeler here, and... Okay, yeah, it's been... Actually, not, not too long since the last time I recorded, and, like... I guess the last one I recorded was uh, the Buddy Fight box opening, though, yeah. So, yeah, I started class, and I have a more flexible schedule, so I do have time to actually, like, record some videos, like, here and there, like, maybe, like, short comic dubs, which I'm planning to do later on. And videos like these, where I just... Do either do reviews or box openings, but in this case, it's a review, and yes, it is Vanguard related, as you can see with this new mat here. Basically, this new mat is not mine, though, but I did win it at my uh, hobby shop Ichiban, uh, the booster draft tournament, though, but I'm giving this as well as what's going to be reviewed today as a birthday present to a special friend of mine. Her name is uh, Tara Oswald, and... Or you you can probably you probably know her on YouTube as Neko Zombie who does a lot of voice acting videos. Some of them she does with me, some of them does with a lot of other people though, but But yeah, I got her into Vanguard like some time ago though, and And I'd have made decks for her. And this is gonna be another one of these decks that that's I'm gonna be sending to her when it gets to her birthdays sometime sometime soon. Alrighty. And the deck today is the Megas deck. Yep. Megas deck from Oracle Think Tank, which has just been released today, actually. Let me just kind of get that to focus. I don't know. So I apologize, the lighting is kind of bad, though, but... Eh. The I guess lighting got a little... It's a little hard, though, because uh, everything's going to be like a bit of a glare here, though, but... Excuse me one bit, I'm going to go turn on the light, see if I can get better. Okay, yeah, that, that is much better. That is much better. Yeah, and sorry for the glare though, because I have not taken the mat out of the plastic package, because like I said, I'm going to mail that to her too as well, so. Yeah. Oh, I guess the glare is not really that, isn't that, isn't that bad though, so. Alrighty, well, I did take up a bit of time though, so. Let's get to the deck. Alright, so for the starting Vanguard, we are starting with uh, Lozenge Magus. Because... Because you can actually start with Lozenge Magus, though. It's actually it makes, us, makes us a pretty good starter, because after you boost, you can just send it back to the deck. And because of that, we have room for adding a grade 1 and stuff, too. So, yeah. But then again, we'll come back to that when it gets to the trigger lineup as well, so... Let's do a breakdown of the deck. Okay. We have uh, four hexagonal Megasis, though. Yeah. Next, this is the break ride. That's one of the triple R's in the box, though. Basically, once you break ride on top of her, you look at the top three cards of your deck, pick one of those three that you look at into your hand, and put the other two on the top of your deck in any order you wish. So this is very good. This deck is very fun too, and I don't know because you can just do so much with this deck as well too. So let me get a clearer image of that. There we go. And like a like a lot of break rights, she gets that two thousand power boost whenever like you attack and stuff. But here is like during your turn, she'll gain two thousand if you have four more cards in your hand. So it's like a continuous ability. And of course, and then. Another one of the main cards of the deck is uh, Pentagon Omega, which I happen to get a full playset of from my uh, from my pre-release. Basically, her ability is when uh, her regular ability is if you a special counterblast two cards with Megas in their card name, so gain like five thousand power. So it's kind of like Dragonic Descendant though, and like a lot of other main units from like the Archetype clans though too, like Eradicators, Liberators, and whatnot. So her limit break is when you declare an attack with her, if you declare the name of any Oracle Think Tank card, though, if you guess right, she gains 5,000 and a critical, so... You can do a lot of... You can do a lot of gimmicks with this, too, so this is pretty fun, and... Normally, you can only get her through, like, a uh, By participating in the pre-release event. But luckily, at Ichiban, though, like, not a lot of people joined, though, so... He had, uh, the shop owner had a lot of leftovers, so we just, I just ended up buying three more sets so I can get four. So now, yeah, because of that, the deck's complete, and we're going to take peer through it right now. 
Well, we are peering through it though, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Alrighty, so grade two lineups we have four stellar magus. Basically, what she does is that uh, when she attacks a vanguard, though, you again guess the name of an oracle think tank. If you guess right, you add that card to your hand, but if you guess wrong, you put the card back and just unflip the damage. So, and she's 9,000, so that's. That's actually pretty good. I mean, there's really no backlashes to this using this ability. I still find it hilarious, though, that when we were testing this deck online, though, uh, yeah, my friend Tara, she's all, like, throughout, like, almost half the, the guesses she made were blind guesses, and almost half of them were correct. So that was kind of scary. And also pretty funny at the same time. Okay, so here we got four Briolette Maguses, though. This card is another good card, too. So basically, what you do is when you uh, you Soul Blast one, and then you draw one card and then put this card from the Rearguard Circle on top of your deck. So this will serve as a good, a good fodder for, like, those guessing effects. So if you want to get those guessing effects off, like for Pentagonal Magus or Stellar Magus, you can do that, though. So that's pretty awesome. And then lastly, we have, for the grade 2s, 4 core Megas. It's basically the 12k attacker for if you have a Megas Vanguard. And she is very pretty. I like the picture of this card. It's... Alrighty, now for the grade 1s. So now, since we have, we're starting off with the trigger unit, we can fit one more grade 1 to have 14 grade 1s, though. Alrighty, we have... For Tetramagasus, which is the perfect guard for Magus. Self-explanatory. We have four Circle Magasus because, again, this can really, uh... This really sets you up for the... All the big effects that you can use with, like, Pentagonal Magus or Crescent Magus, which I'll show in a bit. And all the stuff that it requires you to guess. Alright. This time, well, we, were, we were using two Crescent Magus this though, but I find it's a little necessary to use three because this ability is pretty invaluable because even if you guess wrong though, it can help set you up for like the next card that you, the next card you need to use to guess and like say, like for, like again, for Pentagonal Magus too, because this, a lot of this card can really help you set up the limit break each turn though. But if you happen to guess right with this ability, then the boost that you gain is an extra 3,000, so it'll be like a 9k booster, so that sucks you're pretty good. I mean, we were testing it out with two, though, but I found it a little more necessary to put in one more. So because of that, we had to reduce Rippus Magus down to three, which is just a 10k attacker for Magus, though. But yeah. So that's the grade one lineup now, and for last, last but not least, we'll get to the trigger lineup. Alright, we have four Psychic Birds, and two Battle Sister Ginger. So yeah, we're playing six Critical. Because, well, we're playing that because there isn't really any other Magus trigger lineup, so, other than the heal triggers. So we got four Battle Sister Tiramisu and two Victory Makers for six draws, so we got six critical and six draw triggers. Because for Magus, we find it a little necessary for you to help uh, keep your hand count high for bigger defenses and for the left. Alright, and for the last of the trigger lineup, we got four Lozenge Magus, which one of them is going to be the starting unit, which... Well, which actually clears up a lot of uh, room for like ratios in the deck too. I mean, you can start off with a grade three searcher for Battle Sister Eclair. That just depends on what you like better, though. I mean, to me, they both work just they both they both work equally fine. They they just as well together, though. I mean, like like you can choose to start off with Eclair because if you wanna if you really wanna get get your grade three set up though, or if you wanna just have like an extra grade one or two and stuff too, depending on how you run your ratios though. So yeah, so that's the deck pretty much though, and it's really, really fun though. I mean, like, I, mean, I probably would have considered making this deck myself though, but eh, I felt like I wanted to give this as a birthday present to Tara because she's been really awesome though, and and Tara, if you are watching this though, yes, this is your deck, and you'll get it when your birthday decides to come around pretty soon, which is. 
actually starting to approach pretty soon, yeah. So yeah, hope you like that, and of course you're gonna get a lot more than just this and this mat too. Let me just get a good view of the mat. Oh yeah, and this is the I'm using this to record my videos on because this is the only, I mean, I'm recording off my phone, so yeah. But in any case, though, yeah, this is your mat too, and you already know what else you're getting, except for one mystery item, though. So, yeah, hope you enjoy that, and thank you all for watching this video. This is Yusei D. Wheeler, and I'll be signing off. Alrighty, take care, and Tara, again, hope you enjoy this.